Over the last several days, City News has been following up on a claim made by Toronto's chief of police. Mark Saunders says between August and September, there were 53 individuals charged with gun related offenses who were released on bail only to reoffend for another crime. Now, the chief statement takes aim at how our courts handle gun related crimes, as well as the way our bail system works. There's one Toronto law firm who's challenging the chief's numbers. They say those numbers are dead wrong and they could send a dangerous message. You don't want to use numbers to lie. Reed Rasonic is a lawyer and a partner at one of the largest criminal defense firms in Toronto. Like thousands of others, Rasonic read this tweet from Saunders where the chief claims a startling high number of alleged criminals facing firearm charges reoffended while out on bail. So the criminal lawyer decided to put his own firm's numbers up against the chief's. He claims clients facing gun-related charges only reoffend 13% of the time while on bail in 2019. Try and listen closely as he breaks it down. For the chief's numbers to equate to a 13% failure rate for the year, for 2019, there would have to be over 2,400 gun arrests in Toronto. We asked Toronto Police how many people have been arrested for gun-related offences so far this year. They didn't have an answer for us before our deadline. We do know that as of last week, they had seized 666 guns. That's where Rasonic continues his argument. Even if you give the, the devil his due and, and say there were 600 uh, gun arrests in a year, that's, that's a, a failure rate of well over 52%. If there was a failure rate of, of even 20%, the courts wouldn't be letting anybody out. In short, Rasonic believes the chief is quoting incorrect data. We asked Chief Saunders today where he got his numbers from. Um, my uh, numbers would be coming from the stats that, that we have gathered. I, I don't know where he has gathered his stats, and I, I don't want this to be a, a push and pull. City News also asked the chief for additional information to back up his high reoffender claim last week. You keep repeating this 53 number, but you're only giving us half the data. Don't you feel that we deserve to know the rest of the data before you say that? No, you know, it's upsetting that you say that I'm, I'm spinning. I, I don't spin. Rasonic believes the information should be simple for police to share with the public. All he has to do is provide the 53 arrest reports when they were originally arrested and then the 53 arrest reports when they were supposedly subsequently arrested. When it comes to individuals facing gun charges, the chief has been vocal about his concerns over people reoffending while on bail. The judicial system, I think, is a great judicial system. There are great people in the system. But I do want to have a look at the system overall to say, is it satisfying public safety? Though criminal lawyer Reed Rudzik believes if the facts aren't clear or accurate, it could threaten the Charter of Rights. Well, it's going to kill the presumption of innocence for nothing. They're going to detain people who, who should never be detained, people who will subsequently be acquitted, people who will subsequently have their charges withdrawn. There's no doubt a percentage of the public who believe anyone facing a gun-related charge shouldn't receive bail. Full stop. Reed Rasonic says if the evidence in court is overwhelming when someone is arrested with a gun-related offense, the chances of them receiving bail are slim to none.